new robots look like they could kick my butt. Okay, these are cool. Engine AI released a video showing off the new T-800 robot, totally not a ripoff. Uh, it's surprisingly agile. It performs a bunch of martial arts moves like front kicks and roundhouse kicks. Uh, despite the no AGI, sorry, no AI slash CGI in the bottom left hand of the clip, many comments don't believe it. Unitree responded with their own video a day later showing off the H2 robot. Wait, hold on, hold on. Can we look at this first? Yes. Yeah, that looks like uh, this that one doesn't look real at all. Billion percent looks like CGI. Yeah, that doesn't look real at all. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Even like the lighting and stuff. Yeah, I don't. I don't even sort of believe this. Uh if you're going to, tr if you're gonna make that claim, why would you shoot it like this? Yeah. That's that's why it's so strange. Hold on. Why doesn't the human ever interact with the robot? And their, like, face is covered with a hood the whole time. Well, no, that's fine. I don't mind that, because that human is probably there. But they never, they never touch each other. You notice that? Yeah. Like, like, when Unitree does demos and stuff, they'll, like, they'll, they'll, like, kick the robot and stuff. Oh, you can see them there. No, no, I mean, but they never touch each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they ever cross over even? They get really close. This is the weirdest shot video ever. It, it, it could be a stunt. Wow, yeah, it looks too good. I don't believe that it's this good, um, but it could be a... Oh, man, this is the fakest looking video ever, dude. Like, why would you shoot it to look fake? I, I, this is what I was saying is I could see it be a strategy where they're trying to get people to claim that it's not fake So then they can prove that it's real later. Sorry claim that it is fake So they see, can prove look, that it's real later the one time anyone touches the robot. It's not moving. It's not moving It's I don't even think it's on That is the most BS looking thing ever and this this looks more like the yes. robot actually doing stuff. Yeah, And then this suddenly super doesn't. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So this is Engine AI. Yeah. I don't know about that okay. one. Okay. And then. Unitree responded with their own video a day later showing off the H2 robot. Uh, their video starts with the 1.8 meter tall humanoid robot beating up a much smaller robot. Then it spars with a person and a bigger robot. See, this also looks kind of fake, except, okay, there's actually people back here. And when we move on. This one feels a lot more real. They actually interact with the robot. It feels a lot more real. Even a lot of the movements, like it's surprisingly fluid, but it still has like the classic robotics, like, you know, oh, I am unstable. I will run, uh, you know, algorithm thing to figure out how to become stable again. Yeah. Like little things like that. That little like struggle uh, that feels a lot more legit. Oh, yeah. hundred uh, percent. That looked legitimately dangerous being in the ring with this thing. Like if it connected on one of these roundhouse kicks, check this out. Oh, no, not this one. Never mind. Hold on. Here it is. Like if it had connected with that kick. Yeah, it could suck. That would have freaking hurt. That would suck. Like, maybe injury hurt. Anyway, yeah. Unitree just can't stop winning, man. Like, they... Crazy. The whole industry is moving so fast that it would be impossible to tell us which horse is gonna... Or horses, more likely, are gonna win this race. Well, but, based uh, on those videos, I don't think Engine AI is, because I don't think they have a horse. Um... <laughs> I don't know, that video is just so fake looking, it's ridiculous. Yeah. <clears throat> like, look at the lighting that would have been required for this intro. Hold on, apparently the Engine AI T800 video has behind the scenes that's been released as a response to the fake CGI comments. Alright, let's have a look. Okay. Okay, that looked more awkward. Okay, hold on, let's see. Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa wait. Okay, this guy, this guy is moving. Okay, they've got... This doesn't do much to make me believe it. I'm just saying. That helped a little. That's not the take that's in the video. 
No, it's not. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I want to see someone interact with this stupid robot. Hold on, hold on. Is it going to touch something? Wait, what is Buddy here doing? Oh, okay, that's an action cam. I'm still skeptical. Show me it doing something not badass. That's what I want. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I want to go back to that one for a second. So, where's the sun? Okay. So fake. Touch it. Somebody touch the robot. See, this this is convincing, but again, it's But like, then it cuts. I don't know, dude. Ah, I don't know, dude. I'm I'm not very convinced right now. Okay, I still don't believe it. <clears throat> I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Did this help at all? Oh man, a lot of people saying the the behind the scenes uh, makes it look even more fake. Ah, oh. I, I I don't know. I would I need to see a human interacting. With I'm it. also not like like I said. Uh, it yeah. it felt like a move where they wanted people to say that it looked fake. So they could try to prove that it wasn't fake. And the non behind the scenes video is only three days old and they have the behind the scenes cut already out. I feel like they're just trying to get in news headlines right now and they succeeded. You think so? That's my vibe check. That's some pretty good 4D chess. It feels very planned out though. Yeah. I, I don't know. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you plan when you play 4D chess. That's like the whole idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, dude. Okay, seriously. Scooby3 uh, right. says the old push it back with a with a broom test. Yeah, I want to see that. I want to see it like It's it's they're one day apart. I want to see it failing to do a bunch it's, of it's the like spinning that, kicks. It's not just that this video is 3 days old. This one's only 2 days old. Yeah. I well, oh no, Released that's immediately afterwards. That's true enough, but like it's not like that took a lot of editing to do. Like they just yeah. Chopped together some some footage. Yeah, like what? What's they've got a bunch of other stuff on their channel. Setting the record straight on CGI rumors. I I really think it's it's a publicity thing. Like, have they ever done anything in the past? Hold on, uh, searching for their channel didn't bring it up for me. Can you can you bring up their channel again? Uh, yeah. Oh wait, no, I found it now. Like they've got a, a whole bunch of videos on their on their channel. Like, do any of these other ones? <laughs> nice. <laughs> like this looks This looks more believable. Hit it with a broom. Interact with it directly. I Come dare on, speed, you. touch it. One time. Touch it, speed. Touch it. I mean, yeah, that... That looked a lot more realistic. <laughs> that looked a lot more realistic. Ah. Okay. Well, when was this, anyway? Oh, shoot, I hate how hard it is to just find the stupid details. Okay, yeah, you gotta go find the hamburger menu, and the menu then click description. So that was in April of this year. You know what? Let's see. Let's see how it goes. I, um... I, I agree with Luke that they're obviously playing a get in headlines game. Yeah. Um, until, until I see something that doesn't look quite as polished and staged and, um, and as devoid 
of real material interactions as even the behind the scenes here, I'm going to find this pretty darn hard to believe. And if they like hard scripted a bunch of movements that do look that good, and that's why some of the standard walking scenes look dramatically lower tech than the like martial arts scenes where they're like moving much more like you would expect. And then suddenly they're like fluid and dynamic maybe, but like a lot of these things, it looks like, the like metal is almost bending in a way that like uh, a human doing these types of movements would, would flex and bend when it like collides with the ground and stuff. And then you suddenly see the walking scenes is like, chonk, chonk, chonk. like, I just, I don't know. I have a hard time believing it at all, but if it is like hard scripted to happen specifically in like that room in that setting with that floor material and all that kind of stuff, maybe they've got something. Maybe. It's never useful to anyone, really, but, like, okay. Maybe. Yeah. I, 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 I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait before just pronouncing this to be fake and before pronouncing this to be real. Not- I'm not saying this as a fact, but I'm, I'm definitely siding on the it's fake side. And if it isn't fake, then, I mean, hell yeah. I'm going to say it looks all, fake. All power to him. It for sure looks fake. And then, and then again... This part, like it might not all be fake. This part seems like it could be legitimate. This movement all seems pretty normal. Yep. Very kind of often one motor at a time, and then we're back to nah. (laughs) Yep, fair enough. 